Today is Colorado's 140th birthday, so let's take a trip to Loveland that has been described as a sweetheart city which has a love affair with arts for sure. Check this out. This year, the city is celebrating 33 years of sculpture in the park. It's America's largest outdoor juried sculpture show and sell, and we have a very small sampling of what you're going to see there. Christy Elise joins us now along with artist Joel, George Walby with more. Good to see you both. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Thanks. Love the pieces. So tell me about sculpture in the park. Christy, explain what we're going to see. So, um, Loveland's a well-known art community, and um, it's sponsored by Loveland High Plains Arts Council. So, Loveland High Plains Arts Council has been a major source of energy behind the evolution of visual arts, particularly sculpture, in Estes Park. It's held on, the, the show is held on August 13th and 14th, and we have a variety of pieces, everything from very realistic to abstract. Um, we have 160 artists that will be participating, and we'll have 2,000 pieces of sculpture that we'll be displaying and selling. And we also have a lot of different mediums, so we have everything Goodness. from glass to ceramic to wood, uh, mixed media, uh, metal, and of course bronze. And George, tell me a little bit about what you brought here today. I know one piece is yours. Yes, the piece on the end, the Kachina piece. I do a lot of Indian and uh, Western type work. And uh, so the, the Kachina piece will be shown in the park this year. Beautiful. And the next piece is a glass piece by Richard Hornby. Okay. And, uh, oh, you don't have to move it. We're going to get a camera on it. We have a camera on it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think he's one of the best glass artists that I've seen. Yeah, that's gorgeous. In fact, gorgeous. I bought one of his pieces last year, so that shows. It's hard <laughs> not to. And then the next but one here? The next one's done by David Turner. David is a tremendous artist. He specializes mostly in animals and sea life, this type of thing. He's been an artist. He's been in about uh, 28 of our shows. And quickly tell me about this final that piece. was Tom uh, Woodward's. Tom was a uh, Yale graduate as an architect and he went into art later on in mm -hmm. his career. He passed away several years ago but he did some tremendous designs. Very nice. Uh, it's beautiful. Thank you for bringing us a few examples. And Christy, what special events will be happening? So one of the things that we have is a patron party, and it's held Friday evening on August 12th from 3 to 8 p.m., and it's a, a premier event where we invite our top patrons back to purchase sculpture. It's kind of a relaxed um, uh, environment where people can walk, talk to the artist, and so we also have a limited number of tickets available at $75 a piece, Very and nice. people can get those by calling our office. Um, we also have at the show, we have a uh, take home a piece of the park event where you can purchase small pieces of the permanent pieces in the park. So if you have a favorite piece, you can do that. What a great idea. It is a great idea. George, why have you decided to participate at all 33 years? It's been going on. Well, in 1984, five of us were sitting around discussing the art business and uh, somebody said we ought to have an outdoor sculpture show. Right. And the five of us that were there was Fritz White, Hollis Williford, George Lundeen, Dan Ostermiller, and myself. And uh, in the meantime, there were a lot of people, uh, people on the council and various people interested in art in Loveland that had the same idea to have a sculpture show. So that's how our first show started. And we were hoping to sell enough work to put one piece in the park per year. And 33 yeah. years later, you're still going. We're still That's going. That's awesome. We've got 150 pieces. 150 and, pieces yeah. 154 pieces in the park. Wow. Worth really over $4 million. Fantastic. Well, let me right. give them the info how to get tickets. Yep. Thank you for giving us a sneak peek. Sculpture in the Park is being held August 13th and 14th at the Benson Sculpture Garden in Loveland. Parking is very limited near the grounds, but free shuttle buses are available at various stops across town. For more information, please visit this website. Go to Sculpture sculptureinthepark.org. That's sculptureinthepark.org or call 970-663-2940.